While still blind to the Gobekli Tepe tasking, Daz Smith went from a paper session to the whiteboard, where he explored this target in greater detail. He focused his attention on a life that was significantly impacted by an energy. This energy was reported by Daz as being toxic to the life form, yet somehow caused a spiritual development within the life form as well. Connected to this, there was an object Daz identified way up, up high in the sky, possibly a satellite that also had some sort of strange energy coming from it and emitting around it. If we look back at the tasking for this project, the remote viewers were tasked to look at the intended use and purpose or overall function of Gobekli Tepe upon its initial completion of construction. Daz paints a very interesting picture that may tie into our theory of the Garden of Eden or some kind of manipulation or alteration of a species at this site. Let's explore Daz's session and see what pieces of the puzzle he brings to the equation. Hi peeps, I'm Daz Smith and I'm doing a target here live on whiteboard. The target is for crypto viewing. I've done a couple of paper sessions so far and I've been told now to move to whiteboard to try to uh, improve and expand my RV data. So let's get straight to it, shall we, and see what we get on this one. Okay, so the target number here is 6101. Okay, so definitely getting a life and this feels like it's male um, and there's so that's the life part there and we have the B part here um, and the B part feels like energy and it's all around uh, encompassing encompassing the life this feels effervescent almost alive fizzing fizzing and buzzing so very energetic buzzing live type feeling energy uh, surrounding a life interacting with a life um, and this was like a past event and the life the life films oh interesting I got the word here and I'm gonna put an AOL on this because it's a bit like a guess but it feels like in tuned Feels like he's surrounded, uh, surrounded and influenced by this energy. Uh, yeah, so it feels like he's surrounded, um, being interacted with, almost like a cloud of energetic particles all around him. Yeah, very particle-like, very particle-like, almost quantum in feeling very small also very high tech very advanced as well and this energy feels like it's um external and it feels like it's beamed from a device so we'll have to explore this in detail um yeah so it feels like there's an energy source surrounding a life um, there's, so there's two things, actually there's three things, there's, actually there's several more things actually. Um, I'll have to make notes of this. Um, so there's a life. There's definitely an energy. There's definitely something else, uh, more life. Others I'll put. And it feels like a structure of some kind as well, or, or an object. So I'm going to keep those at the top there and I'll try to explore those. I'm trying to explore a lot of things there. A lot of data is unpacking here. So bear with me on this. So definitely a life with, a, a, with an energy interaction here. Um, I have to be honest, this feels kind of hostile. Uh, feels forced upon the life. Um, and then it makes him go for a transformation. Okay, transformational journey. Maybe even spiritual. All right, spiritual here. Yeah, so 
a life interaction with an energy. The energy is external to him, uh, almost like around him, forcing him. Okay, so that's the summary details on this thing. Definitely a life involvement here in the past with an energy involvement as well. Um, the energy feels like it's external, almost like being beamed in here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this data and we're gonna expand it a little bit more for you. I'm gonna leave those at the top so I remember what we have. So we have a life, energy, uh, other life forms maybe. They feel like they're on the periphery, um, semi-involved here. Um, and then there's a, yeah, there's a structural object as well, but let's have a look at the life. Um, so it feels like a male. So it feels like I'm in dealing with a man here. And he feels like he's enveloped. I'm going to try to draw this if I can. So it feels like almost like a, a shield of energy and it feels like it's moving and gyrating and expanding and contracting so it feels like this energetic with movement here almost like a bubble of energy no not a bubble yeah a bubble of energy and it feels you know like feels like it's made up of all these little tiny particles fizzing type particles they may even have a de decay structure about them it does feel very kind of physics based very kind of quantum so yeah all these like particles of energy all interacting and moving around this life and this life, life almost feels like he's suspended you know almost like he's like this um maybe even hovering or levitating in some way very strange um and this feels like it's beams so this feels like it's external so it feels like it's you know like moving in this direction uh yeah almost like intentionally being intentionally interacted with uh, a beam from a distance an energetic beam light energy waves vibration quantum feeling material lots of real physical detail to this really minute really kind of like fizzing there may, may even be a heat with this as well a heat a heat interaction so it feels like a life that's being interacted with by an energy source at a distance um this is a past event. Um, and at the time, there feels like he's, um, it feels like a transformation thing. Feels like, feels like the energy is actually um, interacting with him physically. So I think this is physical and also mental. I feel like there are physical changes, maybe on a DNA level here, uh, very minute, very subtle, but there's also what feels like transformational uh, spiritual journey changes that happen over time as well with this person. It's very effervescent life here, very interesting. Um, yeah, life in the middle, caught in the middle of a cloud of interactive, almost like it has a sentience to it, AI kind of like interactive energy, and it feels feels beamed or controlled or, or purposely pushed from outside uh, as an influence towards life. And it feels very, uh, it does feel high tech, uh, secretive, uh, not discussed. That's interesting words. Uh, yeah, and almost like a high tech feeling to this, almost like a secretive, furtive kind of semi-hostile feel like this as well and it's strange because when this interacts with the life it's almost like he has that weightless feel it's almost like I'm, i can feel him kind of like moving off the floor a little bit there as well yeah so let's try to follow where the beaming came from on this let's see where see where that takes us because you know it feels like there's a definite energy interaction Let's see where we can find out where the energy comes from. Because uh, that might give us a bit more of an understanding. So I'm right here, beam. I'm going to focus on the beam element of it. And that feels... Feels like a dark object uh, at a distance. Dark. Grey. Solid. Structure. It feels hidden and secret. Covert. Covert's a good word. Covert feels right for this. Secret. 
and it feels like an advanced tech. As I said, the dark grey um, curved, curved feel into this object. Uh, I'm going to come down here and try to, to, to draw the, the, the object a bit more detail. It feels very kind of like... Semi-circular, curved, grey, matte black, matte black, matte, grey or black on this. Um, curved focus is a device. It feels, it feels large, it's actually. It um, feels attached to something. An arm? I don't know. It feels above as well. It feels high above. Directed almost like a, a satellite uh, feel to this. Um, directed energy, so it's almost like, and it's not energy. I don't think you can see it, or humans can't see it. It just feels like you know this energy, and it's like when it's like whoosh, energy, kind of like directed out to where they want it to direct to. Um, and it feels like it's an intentional um, interaction with a life using energy from this very advanced technology. Uh, there's parts of me want to say this is a UFO uh, type thing, but there's parts of me that says it wants to hold back on that as well. So I'm a bit unsure about that, but it does feel like it's above and it feels like it's almost aerial based aboveness pointing downwards and directly, almost like it needs line of sight to get the, uh, get this beam of intense energetic energy here which feels very much like um protons and ions 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 oh sorry i can't spell it. ions um radiation kind of feel okay so it feels like there actually may be some uh talk about the physicality of this life form actually feels like there may be some kind of physical damage from this from some kind of like ionized oh well, that's a good word Ionize radiation. But again, this feels very subtle, um, almost imperceivable, almost like it's going to develop over time. And I'm not sure if that's intended. It's almost like the transformational kind of, almost like beaming communications or a message, uh, trying to give their life a spiritual journey type thing is the key element that these these things that happen are unintentional side effects or something yeah very interesting uh so let's move on a little bit here see what else we can pick up uh because i have a feeling of other life forms as well um and the paper sessions did kind of pick up on their life forms. So let's see what we can get here. I had two different weird things for, for our life forms in the paper sessions. Uh, I had one with a very strange word, which was cryptid. So I'm going to explore that now. Um, and this feels like a life. It feels very interesting. Sentient. Um, almost like an AI type feeling, almost like controlled, controlled life. Um, tall, it feels outside, natural location. Uh, feels like it's independent. Oh, like a bio sensor getting data receiving data experimenting researching has all those kind of elements to it feels like it's on the periphery as well feels like it's way over here somewhere way away but connected connected but almost watching independently very strange I don't even know if it's connected in it, you know, it might just be something that's uh, stun stumbled upon this and is watching from a distance. There is another life, and I'll tell you what it feels like, I, I AOL this, and I think I AOL this on the paper session as well, it has a very much a Bigfoot type feel to this. Almost like a non-human 
but maybe part human type life form controlled almost robotic uh simplistic simplistic is a better word in its in its makeup and the way it moves and does things and the way it thinks about life and stuff almost like a biosensor gathering information but it feels on the periphery over there somewhere i can't work out how that fits to this target it's almost like it's watching at a distance maybe accidental accidental part of this but there's other life as well that i picked up so let's see what we can get on that a second. Bear me a sec while I just get this a little bit more of a white because it's looking a little bit dirty here at the moment. Oh, that's a better wipe here. Get some of the grunge off. Yeah, as I said, there's, uh, I feel like there's other life. So I feel like this whole event essentially feels like, if I put that life here, it feels like, you know, it feels like there's one and it feels like that's a primary. And then it feels like there's some over here, some over here, and maybe even one over there. This may be like the cryptid type life, non-human on the edge, far over there. You feel more human uh, males in two groups. Humans, they're involved knowledgeable some may be involved in recording planning i don't know research they're involved in research that's what it feels like and these over here these feel very detached detached and that feels intentional which is interesting, I don't know why. Um, and this is the primary, this is the guy that's being affected. He's the important one. Uh, so yeah, so this has many layers to it, many layers of life. Interesting, these feel almost political, militaristic. Uh, political, militarist, that's a big word militaristic type feeling um yeah very kind of uniform based official feeling to these these ones over here these feel less so um feel more like scientists or something i would say i would say yeah scientists so we have two groups of life here, interesting. We have a group of scientists, we have a group of what like, feel like intel or soldiers or government politician feel. Yes, yeah, so a corporate-y kind of government-y type people. They feel higher up, these feel lower down. It feels like a pecking order. And they're all interested in a central life kind of feeling. I don't know what's going on here. Am I putting too much into this, reading too much into this? Because it's a past target. I don't know how far in the past. I don't know, you know, it feels like, it doesn't feel like deep past, it may be, but why does it feel 50 years or so? I don't know, it has that kind of feeling about it. I feel that the energy is important to this, um, and it does feel like it's from above, but I don't, I don't want to say UFO on this, I want to, don't want to come to a conclusion. Um, all very interesting data so far um, but the beam the energy feels very kind of like as I said direct almost like it's, it's, it's uh, I, try, I was doing it wrong it was almost like it starts wider and becomes thinner the closer it gets to the life and as I said it feels like it's got lots of particles in it and it feels like it's very like quantum and it has almost like a dark dark energy feel to this um yeah very effervescent almost like a light fizzing bubbling there's a heat and energy of things there's a vibration there a real intense vibration and it does something um it impacts this poor life or i say poor um i feel that the transformation over time is positive 
the whole experience i think the whole experience of this really enhances and makes this person as a better person over time but there's a physicality there's a physical interaction here which isn't so good and um, there may be some negative side effects from that physically and but yeah this beam feels very quantum and it feels, feels very ray or laser like bright energy like a light like light maybe like light lights a similar light feels like a similar kind of construct to what this is uh, yeah very direct very energetic um, and this all feels like it's from above and as I said uh, I don't want to judge many conclusions like UFOs um, but it feels like there's an interaction from above you know with, with this energy this influence here um, and you know <laughs> I'm gonna AOL this because it has like it does have like a biblical type feeling I don't know why almost feels like a consciousness or a message or something that's getting across here um, this energetic yeah it feels very very strange now this also feels as I said very above feeling to this um, it feels like there's a downwards movement to this maybe in relation to the object the curved object dark object thing I'll see um and almost like an energy uh an engine feel to this as well explosive kind of energy explosive energetic again it feels different from everything i'm feeling over here it feels separate um but it does feel it does feel above ground based and i won't say ufo but i will say it almost feels like a vehicle vehicle no object drone kind of feeling yeah very strange on that one very curved dark matte stealthy stealthy stuffy is a good word stealthy i like that that feels important to this target stealthy and secret and hidden so very interesting but i wrote dark matter earlier I want to explore that a bit different because we don't even know what dark matter is um, so let's have a quick look at that I just want to explore that and get that out of the way because that's quite a heavy concept to have in the back of my mind there dark matter and you know I, I did explore that a little bit on the paper session so dark matter you know this is definitely a energy substance secret I'm not gonna write all these out actually because they could go on forever so dark dark matter it's like an energy a substance it feels secret it feels covert kind of hidden from us it feels like it's a layer type of technology um, infiltrating um, wave like that feels important waves and frequencies frequencies It's almost like it's there but we can't see it um very interesting we've got a very science feel very energetic feel to this um dynamic almost explosive uh yeah an explosive type of energy to this um very science based very covert or oh, radiant yeah has a radiant feel to this um I'm trying to think come on what else does it feel small miniature uh, has an architecture to a very taboo science based uh, space and time and dimensional feel to this all oh, dimensional why does this come up cube like dimensional hole oh, in a circle or something what does that mean I don't know um, yeah so very esoteric type technology and it feels like this is involved somehow an esoteric energy based type net technology might i don't know if this is due to some kind of drive system of the object itself or if it's to do with the beaming and the and the energy interaction that takes place but this feels like a very 
interesting, unknown, almost secret at this stage, covert, scientific, f very strange, uh, subtle, but heavily influencing uh, interaction going on. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Hi there, so we're gonna really try to explore this in a bit more detail now. We know we have a life, we have energy, we have other life involved here, and we have some kind of structured object here. It feels like it's a pass-based target uh, with a central life, a primary life involved here. And this primary life, um, you know, if I do the number here, 6101, you know, we have a life, that's my life here, and he feels like he's swirled or interacting with an effervescent energy. Feels very uh, swirling and energetic, all new subtle base energy here. Very, um, very intangible feeding to this. And the life feels like it's male, feels like he's outside as a past event. Uh, and it feels like it's almost like a direct action. I don't know what direct action means. Almost like he interfered with something or something. And then they, yeah, I don't know. But the life feels male, definitely. Uh, and there's space involved here, lots of space energy and movement um very interesting to it um uh, and it also feels like there's a structure here that's connected um, but this feels like it's some distance away and the structure as i said feels curved dark matte black focused i can't really work out what's going on there a sec yeah so there's a life involved here and the life feels like he's sus suspended suspended is a good word suspended oh i can't spell suspended in an energy oh sorry field my spelling is completely gone when we remote viewing this happens to us at times we don't know why it just does so you have to forgive my spelling here but it feels like a life suspended in an energy field and it almost feels like the energy could almost and i don't know if it does affect gravity too because i get this feeling like the life is almost like being a bit more weightless, a bit more lifted off the, off the surface, almost like they're floating a little bit. Very interesting. And as I said, the, the, the energy feels like it's come from somewhere else. It feels like it's a directed, being shot, fired, focused. Focused is a good word. I like that one. That one feels good. A focused energy. And this is intentional almost as if it's to stop the life uh, but there's a there is a communication there there's a communication element happening i don't even uh, maybe even this is just information like you know almost like radio waves or something i do not know but it feels like there's a communication and there's a transformational journey for the life as well as a physical interaction um very interesting and it's at a distance as well um and this feels very i have to be honest um, although there's a transformational journey, this all does feel a little bit toxic. Um, maybe the energy itself uh, is toxic to the life. So I'd be interested to see what this target is and see if there's any elements that, yeah, so it feels like the life is actually affected in some way. And it feel, I have to be honest, it feels almost like radiation damage, ionized type radiation damage. It feels like it's a very subtle genetic level. But at the same time, some of the spiritual message things from the life seem very positive. Okay, so what more are we gonna get on the life? So it feels like this this could be a communication or communication as well as something else happening happening over an, an energy field. Um, it has like a nefarious, dark, kind of worrying field is, I can't quite put my mind on it. Um, and But that's intentional as well. Um, hard, very hard to fathom and put my finger on it. Almost feel very experimental as well, almost like an experimental kind of like mind control influence kind of technique being beamed or focused yeah but there feels a communication feel there as well like, and it does feel like energy and sounds and waves it's almost like uh, I could physically put my fingers through it and sense it but I'm not quite um, yeah frequency super compact super compact frequencies or energy frequencies or waves that's what I, the kind of feel that this has very 
physics based very quantum kind of feeling to it uh, almost like a super advanced microwave kind of radiation type feel like a maser or something um, yeah very interesting on that one now we're gonna look at something else as I said I had this uh, this cryptid type thing it didn't feel human a humanoid would be a good part a uh, good word to say I would say um, I felt like there was this other life involved but it, again it was at a distance it was it was removed from the primary so we had this uh what we should we call it other life and um, but and well no let's call it a biosensor because that's what i wrote it feels like a biosensor so it feels tall it feels like it's outside it feels like it's removed it feels like it has simple tasks like research uh observation uh and it feels like an experiment in some way um a manipulated life um damage maybe uh, but it feels it almost feels like everything it does is being recorded as data through sensors um very strange almost like a uh, a drone type sensor type thing with that can record sound and video and and maybe other things like temperature and all that kind of stuff but it feels like it's a it's a life form that's doing this and everything's going being fed into a computer very interesting feels very physical and mental um i sense a mental man type connection feeling to this um yeah very strange very strange i can't quite get my my head around it um almost like again almost like data being beamed and communicated from a living life form a living life form is like a biosensor recording data and it's being sent uh sent to to maybe that maybe the object thing you know the curved object thing i see up, up high i don't know what it is maybe there's a two-way interaction with stuff coming from this and then stuff coming back through a tight beam some kind of like microwave beam or some kind of exotic energy beam or interaction it could even mean almost like a spiritual telepathy type thing going on we don't know how remote viewing and psi stuff works so it could even have that kind of construct i can't quite put my finger on what's happening here because the whole thing feels very esoteric very kind of advanced way beyond the concepts that i have to describe this kind of abstract kind of almost like technology And there's also a, a, a very subtle feel here in this target of being secret as well it feels like this is a secret or it's hidden almost like a study being done to it um, an underlying feel of research to this whole thing very kind of small elements of being scientific as well i don't know where that's coming from a feel of science engineers someone trying to understand something that's going on so they're using sensors they're interacting with humans on a level and i don't know what's going on here it also has a very outside feel so it feels outside and it feels like a natural you know it feels like a natural environment i have to be honest it feels very usa-ish it has that kind of smell and uh, temperature to it i've been to the usa and oh, i can almost replicate that in my head it has that kind of feel to it um but yeah it also you know being outside and having all this it also had this strong technology kind of mind control mental manipulation uh energy communication <laughs> feeling to it as well uh, i don't know what the target is that crypto viewing to give us but it's it's an interesting one um not like the usual stuff we get because it does feel advanced tech and there's parts of me that want to say above control you know, maybe even interdimensional or et kind of influence in this but at the same time i'm a bit hesitant in saying that because i don't have direct information other than there feels like this structure satellite type floating object up high that seems to be having some kind of influence uh, or effect within this entire target So let's move back to the life and just go through the life one more time here to make sure we get all the detail on what's happening to the primary So we have a you know target is six one we have a life and he's in an energy field or he's interacting with an energy field that that would be a better way to say it and this feels like it's moving expanding contracting almost alive 
fizzy, effervescent, and you know, it's got all these particles and bits. And it feels like it might have a decay element to it as well. The far right you go, you know, it, was, yeah, it gets less and less. So it has an effect, wave-like effect. So a, 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 a life force, a male, interacting with some kind of bubble. It feels like a bubble or a vortex, almost like a portal around him. Um, he feels like he's bombarded with particles. <laughs> Feel like they go through him, in him, around him, and it feels very kind of quantum or science like this. Can I quite put my mind on it? Um, yeah, it feels like a person. I don't know. That gets into this, but I'm not. There's a damaging element to it as well. The damaging thing worries me. Um, yeah, it's almost like the people involved in doing this kind of have an inkling feeling that there's a damaging physicality to this but they're doing it anyway because the data is more important um it's almost like the the primary life although they are a purpose in this and a main aim it's almost like that's slightly more incidental than the data itself which is a bit weird but yeah so enveloped here really strong energy um very damaging but also at the same time I do just see this, and I pick up on this physical aspect, not physical, sorry, this mental aspect, this, this journey over time that this person goes on in it. I think it may expand his consciousness over time. But, you know, that might be a detriment to the physicality of this. Just getting another drink here a minute. Now, as I said... This feels like it's beamed or projected or directed and you know I, so I have this kind of like dark object like this and this feels very dark grey matte moving feels like it's above and it feels like it's directing the energy you know it feels like it actually feels like it's very much like earth based tech you know almost like an antenna or something dark coned conical almost rubber looking it feels you know like this rubber looking conical shaped um has a satellite feel to this um which is interesting i don't know why that is um and it feels mechanical man-made you know almost like electronic with circuits but maybe a bit more high tech than what i'm used to but it feels above as well um and it does feel like it projects or beams uh, but there may, do you, you know, maybe there is a two-way interaction with this. And then, yeah, it's almost like I see these waves coming out of this. Like that. Oh, I just had a word. Scalar. I don't know what that means. Scalar, scalar waves or something. I'll have to look that one up afterwards. Um, yeah, so very interesting technology here. And again, it feels very matte black. You know, like rubberized, kind of dark, strange feeling to this. Almost stealthy. I don't know what that has to do with it, but yeah, very technical, very advanced. Okay, so I'm going to move to another data point. Okay, so this whole object type thing, this whole target has a very mental kind of manipulation and physical manipulation feel to it to involving the life that are involved in the target uh, it feels very high tech very mechanical and scientific going on here um, very advanced uh, uh, and it does feel like it's directed energy um, I can't quite work out why um, but there also feels like what might be happening and i don't know if this is if this is uh intended or not but there feels like there may be a dimensional and gravity effect as i said it feels like he's almost hovering or rising a bit or being risen up a little bit it feels like there's almost like a hovering levitation type feel. but there feels like there's something more about that as well there feels like there's almost like a twist or a fold a tear, a fracture, something, uh, a shift actually, a shift. feels like there might be a shift in some way in dimensionality because of this as well. So again, it feels very esoteric as a target.
Okay, so I don't know where else to go with this really. I have several life forms involved in the target. I have a central one, a primary. He seems to be having some kind of forced surprise outside interaction in the past uh, with a vast energy. Uh, and the energy itself feels very technical, very influencing, mental and physical partly toxic or quite toxic but it also has a gravity dimensional effect it's very kind of quantum based feels like dark matter waves stuff that we haven't seen super compact dense waves and vibrations very strange kind of scientific feel to all this feels like this is all being uh, observed feels like there's teams of people and some feel like you know there's a team of humans over here they feel very government kind of intel uniform based very kind of military then there's a lower form of people here, and I think they may have uniforms as well, a separate group of people. They feel a bit more scientific, almost like engineers and scientists, data gatherers. They feel involved, and both of these sets feel like they're humans. But right on the far periphery of this target, almost like it's watching the whole thing involve, is some kind of like uh, cryptid type, humanoid or but not human, biosensor. And it's almost like there's a life form that, that records video and audio and temperatures and all kinds of data on many different levels, huge amounts of levels. And then that's transmitted back in some way. So I almost feel like it's a very experimental, strange situation created by the people that or the life that have this satellite type circular domed shaped object and which feels like it's above in the sky above in some way but you know again i feel like there might be some kind of that might come down that might this could possibly be a ufo type thing where it came down um because i do feel like it has there is an energy you know an explosive energy source here um very dark dark matter based i don't think this is this energy i'm not sure this is the dark matter energy i think it might have more to do with this object here and its propulsion system or the way it moves or the way it, the way it um, powers itself um, and it may come down it may come, again it, it does it does have a UAP type feel to it but I don't want to say the word UAP here because I'm not getting immensely strong data on that again it feels like it's a past target very complex it feels like it has huge implications especially for the life you know I do feel like this is quite toxic um, and damaging but I also feel I sense that you know he did get some spirituality out of this as well um, and again it doesn't feel deep in the past for me it feels like in the last hundred years 50 years ish maybe even early later than that uh, you know it doesn't feel like hundreds or thousands of years ago I may be wrong on that um, it might be the tech that's swaying me on this um so i think that's pretty much all i'm getting on this one to be honest um i don't know what the target is right now so i'm looking forward and seeing uh what comes up with the target of this from crypto viewing i hope you enjoyed the data and i'm going to look forward to seeing your comments on this and uh you know interacting with you to see what this target actually is so my name is daz smith this is a blind target for crypto viewing take care and i'll see you next time fascinating session by daz smith in looking at the energy and the impact that it had on this life what was the purpose of it so many questions come to mind for me as i look at this thinking about the thread of the biblical context or the sumerian creation myths or the garden of eden that comes in here are we looking at some kind of and this is just my opinion here but are we looking at some kind of uh, genetic manipulation or alteration on an energetic level uh, is there is this evidence of an advanced high society or the old civilization before the cataclysm that is now repopulating the planet? And this is one of the gardens of Eden here that uh, the experiments are taking place on. What's interesting also is this cryptid uh, life form that Daz described as maybe an AI or maybe some kind of biosensor. I'm wondering if there was a cataclysm at some point. If these things were out there just gathering data on the environment, the local environment, again, uh, I'm just speculating here on that, but I think it's a, a fascinating data point, as is everything else that Daz has brought back. How does his data 
fit in with the larger picture if we look at the division of work among the remote viewers each have a different piece yet with strange corroborating data points daz's cryptid hominid as he talked about which he at one point referred to as bigfoot other viewers also had similar data to the giants so that may be another target queue worth exploring at a later date let us know what you think on this one uh what does it mean how does it all tie together? On behalf of Daz Smith and the rest of the crypto viewing team, I'm Dennis Nappy II. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.